hello people welcome back to my youtube channel my name is city Lai, and on this channel i share cake recipes tips hacks business conversations sales and marketing strategies and business ideas that you can start from the comfort of your own if you are new here please subscribe to my channel and if you are an og here thumbs up for you <laughs> so today i'm going to be sharing a recipe hack that you've asked of i saw some um, questions about how to make date syrup. So I'm going to be sharing how to make a simple, easy date syrup. It's really an easy procedure, straight to the point. I have here the uh, dates and I have cinnamon. I have some batch of date syrup that I've made, date liquid that I've made that we're going to turn into syrup. But I just needed to show you um, the procedure. So let's get right into it. Here is the date liquid I was referring to the other time. We, we used it and we didn't finish it, so I kept it in the freezer and it's frozen. So we're going to use it alongside this one. I'm going to be turning everything into date syrup. But first, let's proceed to using this one. Here is how to deceive dates. The thing with dates is that there are some that are very hard and there are some that are soft in the middle. And there are some that are very, very, very soft. So this one is like... Um, not so soft and not so hard so i'm going to use a kitchen knife to just cut through can you see so if it's the very dry bones we can use um hammer to break it on or any hard thing to break it well, this kind of um, date is not so strong. This one is quite strong. This is soft. So. And that's it. So I'll repeat the same process. The date has been cooking for about an hour and here is the result. Can you see how mushy it is like? See, this is what you want to get. Some of them have even melted. So this is what you are looking for. So I'm going to be chopping it or blending it with my food processor. You can use a blender. That works. So I put it inside. Because I'm using a food processor, I'm not going to add water. I don't need a lot of water. I'll still add water much later. Okay, I think I this too. This is what I have. Can you see? A good paste. See that? So, I'm going to um, return this back into the plate. I'll add a little bit of water and then I'm going to sieve it out with a cheesecloth using this. So, Let's see how that goes. So I've added water and this is what I have. I'm going to add a little bit more water. Like I mentioned earlier, this is the old one that I have in the freezer. It's already defrozing but it still has a little block. And this is the one that I just made. So I'm going to add everything together now. Take it to the um, stove and then cook it till we have that syrup. Here is me placing it on the stove and here it's already boiling. So you see the different stages of it boiling and at this point it's already getting ready you can see that the way it's boiling is different it's bubbling and all so at this point it's almost almost ready in total it took about two hours to finalize to cook 
to cook this syrup.